Hello everyone, Karnasa here, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, our base has expanded significantly since the last episode. Basically, in between the episodes, I have gone and I have expanded the floor plan just a tad, so I've got a bit more room to work with. I've also created a little bit of a back entrance where we are going to park our fleet of vehicles, starting with our original rover, which still has yet to be named. If you've got any kind of naming convention for the vehicles in this series, please do feel free to drop them in the comments. And I do not like the look of what that thing is over there. Anyway, so in this episode, what I'm gonna get up to is we are going to configure a way of actually connecting our rover to our base, because as it stands, this rover is running out of power rather quickly. And <laughs> it's got all of our life support on it. So I do need a way to connect it to the base. That being said, I am also going to create a life support section in the base so I can recharge my batteries whilst I am away from that rover. I have also gotten up to a whole heap of mining during my time off camera. That's a very standard Minecraft thing to say. And I should have enough materials to start doing some bigger and grander projects. And that is why I have come over here. So this little section here is going to be a construction frame for our first vehicle that we are going to design. And I've got something in mind. I want to build a new rover, but I want to build a rover that has a few drills attached to it. So we can start mining stuff in earnest. We can really create some massive hideous scars on the landscape and hopefully recover a lot of the material that we are going to use, bring it over to this refinery and really start producing quite a lot of, well, <laughs> materials and all of the good stuff that we are going to need to make this base incredibly opulent. I also added some flashing lights onto that. So when I do inevitably even create some kind of flying vehicle, I don't go flying straight into my tower because that would be a real shame. But enough with these introductions. Let's actually start working on our life support and actually connecting our rover up to the base. So the first thing I am going to want to do is I do want to remove the survival kit that we do have on this rover already. Oh, and <laughs> we lost a lot of parts by doing that. So if I just get rid of these, oh, I really don't like trying to grind these parts. There we go. No, still there we go. We've got that. So the reason why is this survival kit actually has medical components on it and it's the only way that I can currently gain medical components unless I go and find some silver. Unfortunately, I haven't found any silver yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that survival kit and we are going to place it over here. You can tell I'm not really practiced with this game because <laughs> this is this is a bit ludicrous. Right, there we go. So I'm going to place this I think I want to place it maybe right in front of this door. There we go, I think that should be good. And let's have a look, what kind of materials do we need? Well, we've got all of them already apparently, so <laughs> that's rather useful. We need to set this up kind of immediately. That way, oh, I have placed that the wrong way round. Huh, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> that I placed that the right way round. Okay, well, let's take that down. <laughs> let's start this up again. So there we go, it worked this time. It's directly in front of the door, perfect. That's exactly where I want it. So now we can actually recharge our batteries here. However, we can't recharge our oxygen or hydrogen yet because that still remains on the rover. We should have an O2 H2 generator on here somewhere. Is it, is it, is it this? No, that's our medium cargo container. Where is the oxygen and hydrogen generator on this? I know there definitely is one. Reason being, is this is where I have been refilling my hydrogen bottles. And if I hit K on here, we can actually see that we do have a gas generator. But anyway, we're gonna create a new one over here. So let me just quickly grab that up. And there we go, we have built ourselves a oxygen and hydrogen generator as well. So one thing that I do want to do, considering I have a absolute abundance of ice. As far as the eye can see, there is ice everywhere. What I want to do is rather than just relying on wind power with that wind turbine up there, I do realize in the last episode, I kept calling that a solar panel. I really don't know what was crossing my mind, but that is definitely a wind turbine. Anyway, because of all of the ice, what I want to do 
is I want to use hydrogen power because we will have so much hydrogen with all of the ice that we are going to mine. So I think the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to quickly plop down a hydrogen generator over here as well. And there we go. We now have a hydrogen engine all sorted as well. That did actually take me a little bit more of producing some materials that I didn't have to finish that, but we are done. There is just one other thing that I do want to do. I do want to create a conveyor system that connects these up. And just like that, we have done that. We've got a lot more storage and now a system of tubes that are going to be able to pipe everything around the base. So we can grab whatever we want from wherever we want, which is going to be really nice. So now that that's done, I think we do need to pay attention to the rover. I do think we need to either completely scrap this, which might be an idea, or we need to configure it so that we can actually connect up to our base. So I think I want to go for option two because I don't really want to get rid of this rover. I mean, we've been through some trying times. We've almost hit several trees. I think we have actually hit more than several <laughs> trees over our adventures. And yeah, it's just kind of taken us all around. And like I said, I do have that little construction stand over there and hopefully we will be able to build something new from there. And I do think I probably have enough materials to actually do that in this episode. So I think we're gonna grind this down a little bit. We're gonna remove some of the back. And what we're gonna do is we are going to create a connector on the back of this just so we can reverse it into the base. So. This is just going to take a while, just a lot of grinding, and I'll be back with you once I've got through all of this. Well, that's the rover ground down, is that the right? term? Is that the right? I, I really don't know. But anyway, we have removed most of the rear of this rover and it definitely looks like it has seen better days. So now what we are going to do is we are going to grab one of these connectors and I kind of want to park this up as close as I can. Let's remove this from part. Oh, no. Oh, that was. <laughs> Let's try and not drive straight into the base. Yeah, this is this is why I don't do driving very often. And when it comes to flying, I'm sure I will be absolutely no better as well. That's that's way worse than it was to begin with. Let's just park it there. Good. Oh, let's just jump onto the top here and see roughly where we actually need to place this. I think that might be a tad too high. This is, this is really, yeah, no, that's definitely going to be too high. I think we want it one down from there. Why can't I place that? Oh, it's because, I think it might be because it's too close <laughs> to the other connector. So we are going to have to move this away. Let's take the car out of park. Let's move it away just a tad. And we will come straight back out. And we'll just place this on this middle section. And this is going to look really silly. But... Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So there we go. Yeah, that looks like it should line up quite nicely. And I think we will eventually try and make this look a little bit nicer. But for now, we don't really need to do much. We'll, we'll leave this as is. I think maybe we can do something like this just to just to kind of make... Oh, wait, no, that's, a, that's an actual block. Okay, let's just place these blocks in here like this. And we will go... No, we can't place anything there, apparently. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, let's build this up. Oh, we are going to need some more equipment. Here are some that I prepared earlier. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of tools and equipment in this save now. So there we go. We've got ourselves a connector. And yeah, it's a bit rough and ready. It definitely could do with a bit of sprucing up. But with a little bit of luck, if we jump into our rover and we're actually going to assign our connector to a group. So let's grab this down here and we are going to switch lock. Now we're going to slowly, if I take it out of park, back up ever so slowly. And there we go. I think that should connect if I hit five. Yes, we have connected our rover to our base. Absolutely amazing. So now this should actually hopefully recharge. Well, it will do once we're gaining enough power. That one so I almost said it again. What is my issue with calling this a solar panel? That one wind turbine really isn't 
producing all that much. So we are going to need to mine ourselves quite a considerable amount of ice so we can actually start running this hydrogen engine. And that is going to provide so much more energy than that single wind turbine can. But with that being said, I think the next thing that I do want to get onto, speaking of mining, is actually going and constructing our mining rover. I think it's a good time for that. We need to mine ice. We need a way of producing power. And we are going to probably eventually end up creating another connector over here for our ice miner or, or just our general miner. And then we will connect everything up as well. But yeah, let's go and work on our first actual vehicle for this series. So I was planning on cutting to a time lapse of me creating this then. However, unfortunately, upon reviewing the footage, there was an awful lot of running to and from my supplies to actually get everything that I needed for this. So I'm not going to go with that plan. And what we're actually going to do is I'm going to stay here for a moment and I'm going to start welding this and I'm going to sort of kind of discuss what this vehicle is actually going to be capable of. But anyway, first things first, I'm going to grab some of the components that I actually need. So with my first lot of supplies, let's see how long this actually lasts and if we're able to create anything. Not able to create any of these batteries yet? Fantastic. This is what I meant about the time lapse. I was just running to and from to build this the entire time, which didn't really make for that great viewing. So let's see if we can just whack everything on that we can. So this is, as I was mentioning, going to be a mining rover. And I came up with the idea, like I said, I am fairly new to this game. Well, pretty much brand new to this game. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to try using rotors and pistons. So we have these two drills attached to the side of the rover. That is a rotor there, and what that is going to enable us to do is hopefully we should be able to rotate this drill up and down like this. I have set it so that it is set, well, it's limited to a certain angle. Basically, what I want this to do is we want to start drilling down to begin with, so we start digging ourselves a hole in the ground. Then we will straighten these up and dig ourselves down in a nice straight line. Then when we get to a point where we want to level out, we will flip these drills back up so they're pointing more in this direction. So when the rover is facing down, it will be pointing straight. And then we can drill at whatever level we like. I thought it was a cool little idea, made this a little bit more interesting rather than just being a generic rover with a couple of drills on it and we've got loads of storage we've got five of these medium cargo containers we've got an ore detector conveyor systems spotlights we've got batteries we've got pretty much everything that we're going to need a cockpit more spotlights yes lots of steel plates and i haven't placed the connector on this yet and the reason why is i want to actually drive this rover over here first and do what I did with this rover and make sure that it all lines up. Anyway, let's grab some more stuff and let's carry on actually building this. I really hope this is going to be the last trip that I have to make back here. It might be, but I might be wrong. Let's see if we can finish this. So I've just got the batteries and one little part of a rotor to do. So hopefully uh, this is looking promising. Power cells are very heavy, so it's... Oh, no, I'm 12 off. So I need to come back once more for this battery. There we go. And the final battery is in place. And unfortunately, it's different way from the other batteries. And I really don't know how I feel about that. Oh, that's going to have to change. That's, that's definitely going to have to change. We're going to have to remove that. Oh, great. We lost four power cells from that. Ugh. Oh, no. We lost all 20. Oh, wow. That was that was really bad. Oops. Oh, well. I've got quite a few of them left over, so it's not the end of the world. I have been... I have been resource hoarding. I am stockpiling. But there we go. We now have the basics completed. And I'm not going to take it off from this yet because I do want this to remain whilst I actually build the 
structure around it. And of course, we do need to put our connector in in the back. That is something else that we do have to do. But it is done and it needs a name. I'm thinking of something buggish, but I don't know why. Probably because it's a rover that mines. I don't know. It's very wide. It's very flat and wide. And I kind of wanted to go for that look, but I, I don't know. I think this looks all right. Well, we'll see what it looks like once we actually, oh, fuel load. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get back down. We'll see what this looks like when we have put together all of the armor. But I am going to do that now, and this time, I really hope I am able to do a time lapse with this. Because I think I do want to do time lapses in this series. To be honest, all I'm going to need for the armor are steel plates. So I shouldn't need to run back and forth a lot. If I just stuff my inventory full of steel plates, well then we should be good to go. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to a time lapse of actually doing the construction of the armor of this thing. After having done this design, I am a little bit worried that that drill is a little bit too close to this side because I know pistons can be a bit funny in this game about stuff like this. I kind of hope it's all right because my piston is clear here and here. I don't know though. <laughs> I really hope I haven't gone to all this effort and this thing just gets torn apart as soon as I actually start using it. So there we go, one minor rover completely built. So now I think it's time to actually take it for a test run and see if it can do as advertised. Let's, let's take the wheels. Okay, so we can move. We, <laughs> we're definitely front heavy, which is interesting, but, oh, I, yeah, no, those, those drills are really kind of stopping me from moving. Okay, that could be problematic, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive over this way just a tad. I'm actually going to raise those rotors because as it stands, they're currently in the way. So let's try and raise them up as much as we can. There we go. I might need to put some wheels on the front of this. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we're really forward heavy. I need some wheels at the front of this, but let's extend the pistons. And here goes nothing. 
And there we go, we're starting to drill, we're drilling with a massive rover and we're gonna go down here and hopefully we should be able to just follow this rather nicely. Although, <laughs> this is looking like it's proving quite difficult to go down the hole that we are making. I think this plan might have been a failure. So I have actually just messed with the suspension of the wheels a bit. Well, I'm assuming it's the suspension. If I go and I go on front wheels, we can go over to here and we can raise the power. That doesn't seem to be doing anything anymore. <laughs> but at first, it... What, what is going on? Why is that no longer working? Okay, interesting. Come on. Oh no, it was strength. Yes. So look, that is actually raising and lowering our craft. So hopefully, if I put the strength all the way up, we might be in a good position. I'm gonna leave power about there. And there we go. So now, we might actually be able to get away with starting to drill. Oh, oh we're going in. Can we get back out though? Not at the moment, but I think maybe with a bit of messing around. Yep, come on, come on. This isn't great. Oh well, well, let's just start mining. <laughs> well, we might as well see if we can get somewhere. Let's see if we can like tunnel our way deep into the earth. I don't know how well this is going to work. We need those back wheels up a bit and we need to stop going down so much. I think now that we're on this kind of angle, we definitely, definitely want to be raising up those two drills. So, oh, here we go. We're going in, we're going in, we're going down. And I seem to have seen a bit of a flaw with my plan. There's a big hole in the way. <laughs> As in there's not... Yeah, no, we're, we're missing, we're, the drills don't quite reach the width of the rover. Okay, well, this, <laughs> this has not gone well. This has really not gone well. Let's see if I can raise those drills up again. Let's grab these rotors and raise them to their highest. We need to go this way for this one. There we go, and we need to go this way for this one. And let's extend those, and let's start drilling even more! I mean, this is probably not sensible considering I'm in a bit of a pickle already, but you know, I want to keep on going. We're gonna keep on going until we make it somewhere. And that somewhere is probably going to be stuck in, <laughs> in this ditch. Yes, our wheels are really not having a good time going down here. In fact, we're getting completely stuck. I can't move at all now. This is... This is less than ideal. This is really less than ideal. I've spent so long working on this contraption and it seems to have failed. It's one job. You had one job, Rover, and that was to actually start mining us some ice and some iron and it seems like you are unable to do that. Hmm. I think it definitely needs a drill on top or it needs a drill in the middle. I don't know how I would go about putting a drill on top or in the middle. Or maybe I need to go out on foot and actually hand drill some of this. I don't know, there's, there's a whole realm of possibilities to do to try and fix this, and I'm not entirely sure what the correct answer is. Except all I know now is that we're getting further and further into this hole. We are literally digging ourselves this hole. <laughs> yes, it's just getting worse and worse. So I think with that, that is going to be the end of this episode because it's been quite a while now and things aren't going according to plan. So in the next episode, we'll probably focus on trying to fix this monstrous contraption, try and make it work, hopefully. I don't know, I don't know if I can make this work. This is my first vehicle that I've designed all by myself in this game. So chances are it was going to fail epically, which <laughs> I think it kind of has. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, why not give it a like? If you've really enjoyed it and want to keep up with my content, please do consider subscribing. I have been Karnasa, and I will see you later. <laughs>